everyone so i just want to share a little something on my end and this is actually the profit calculator okay um it is not extremely automated it is just semi automated so this is how uh every time you want to run like a full cycle of map and actually calculate how much you profit and how much you actually earn or you do not earn or whichever this is how uh, I've done it and I realized I should share this with the public or the community okay um, like I mentioned this is not extremely automated you still have to key in stuff on your own but you can specifically find what you actually have and key inside your own okay so uh, I just go through a very quick one so first of all this is in my PoE notebook you can find the link in the description below all right and once you have come in First of all, you need to know that you can actually extract this into your own worksheet so you can um, play around with it. So first of all, uh, go to the Profit Calculator tab, click this small arrow over here and then copy to a new spreadsheet, okay? When you've done that, okay, they tell you uh, sheet copied successfully, just open the spreadsheet, okay? It will bring you to a whole new spreadsheet which is on your own okay which means you can edit everything and anything else but um advisable to just edit all of the items and quantity each okay that is like the whole purpose of this sheet the rest of the numbers is automated okay so yes once you are here you can see i have the columns from a to e they are like the setup cost so you can put in stuffs like um scarabs okay example scarabs example okay so let's just say okay uh maybe hobby scarabs for example all right how many do you want to use you are going to run one full cycle right so if it's one full cycle you need 28 scarabs all right and then um how much they cost each maybe 3c each i don't know for example okay you can see this is tabulated uh in all in chaos and it's 84 here so you can continue to go down the list uh let's say maybe you have hobby compass okay and then uh you're gonna run one compass has four runs, right? So one full cycle is maybe seven, okay, correct? And the hobby compass, maybe let's say it's like 40C each. I don't know, okay? Then it's going to calculate for you 280C and you can continue on down the list as much as you want and make sure you have input your map mod device also. So example, your map mod uh, is hobby as well, all right? How many are you going to use? You're going to run 28 maps, right? So 28. How, what is the cost of each of the map mod uh, device? It's 60 each, correct? So you see, it's going to calculate the full cost of every of your runs in total. Okay, so um, you can see it's 532C and I have a small little like div converter over here where you can input how much chaos you're going to convert to div. So first of all, you got to input the market price of how much uh one device equals to chaos okay so for example i have indicated here 250 so you can change this as much as you want okay 240 um 230 or 200 whichever you want okay the yellow boxes are there for you to fill in so for now 250 and you can see i have 532 chaos as my cost right i'm just going to put it here okay 532 it's going to count for you how many div you actually uh invested so it's like 2.12 div is around there okay uh maybe i should change the decimal place my bad okay so somewhere around there this is how you can see all right so let's just say if uh 200 chaos op is equals to one divine you can see it changes automatically okay right so these are all automated uh just do not change any of the other automated or formulated stuff so once you have done all of your runs or how many cycles you want to do this is where you calculate your profit first of all you gotta fill in the names i i don't know how you want to divide or whichever you want to divide so stuff like maybe you want to divide profits one is currency uh maybe two is harbinger you're gonna run harbinger all right and then three is maybe harvest for example okay you're gonna go life force you can see over on the left side here it basically updates automatically uh what you have actually run so if you do not have profit four and five it's okay leave it out all right leave it out um it is fine now let's say you can see now it's empty here i can put it essence right for example and you see pop it comes out essence here and it's going to tabulate how much you actually earn so let's say example profits currency i'm gonna earn chaos of 
Right, Chaos Orb is just an example, alright? Let's say if I get a uh, 100 Chaos Orb, and of course Chaos Orb is 1 each, right? So example, it'll be like that. And let's say Divine Orb, right? How many? Uh, I Maybe I get 2 Divine Orbs in my 28 runs, and 1 Divine Orb is 250 siege, right? So example, stuff like that, you have Greater Eldritch uh, Ember. Okay, maybe Grand. Uh, oops, oops, my bad. So Grand... Okay, Grand is probably a better example. So Grand, I maybe I have gotten 48, right? And each costs about 3C, right? You got to check this on the market itself. You can probably use PoE Ninja to check and stuff like that. You know, go PoE Ninja and then just go to the currency and you can hop on like uh, Eldritch. Is that a spell? Yeah, Eldritch. So Grand Eldritch Amber, you can see one is roughly around there there's like a buying and selling press around right? i'm just going to take the bare minimum so it's like 4c each okay so it's 4c each now i'm going to change this to 4 and you can just go on down the list you can see it tabulates all the way down all right so there are a lot of things you can fill in you want to fill in your cartographer uh chaser vow of awaken sexton of i'm making you can fill it all on your own okay so of of i'm making Okay, I'm just going to put it all the way down until 15, okay? So, Awaken Sexton, right? This is how many you get. Maybe you get 20 and each Awaken Sexton is maybe 2.5C each, right? You see, it's going to tabulate all the way in. And if you do not have enough space, you can just copy this downwards, all right? You're going to change the number or whichever, it is fine. Just do not touch the total amount here as they are automated, right? So, this is just an example. And you can go on down with the list. You can go to Harbinger, maybe you got Fracture Shards. Right, fracture shots maybe one and they are okay two two maybe two <laughs> maybe two. Uh, how much are they now? Maybe forty nine C each. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So maybe forty nine C each, and then you have ancient or right ancient or maybe you have eleven and they are going for ten C each stuff like that. So you can see it actually calculates every single thing for you. All right, this is like like I said, this is not all automated this is just semi-automated but it allows you to count specifically what things you would wish to count okay this is different from excellent nix whereas excellent nix basically uh tabulates every single thing that you have in a particular loot tab so what you can do is you can throw everything into a tab okay and then you just open let's say oops sorry maybe excellent nix okay so Axelion Next is basically an app that helps you calculate how many uh, loots you have gotten in specific tabs. Okay, for example, I don't know. This is my previous loot. You can see, let's say, a uh, Timeless Templar Emblem. All right, I got eight. Something like that. So it, from here, right, you can just see, uh, you can just probably put in in one of them, let's say here, Legion. Okay, Legion. Uh, what is it? The Timeless Templar... Uh, oops, sorry, Emblem. I had eight of each just now, right? But then, but then you gotta remember this is not exactly accurate, correct? So example, example, if you were to cross reference and price check, example, if it's twenty five C, you can count it like this. All right. The reason why excellent Nix is still good, but it is not exactly accurate because you are basically gonna count a lot of small, little, minor stuffs, and you might want to exclude those and. This is also just so in case, you know, you want to count very, very specific stuff. Like I say, you want to divide your Harbinger. You want to see how much profit you make from Harbinger, whether the uh, compass and the scarabs are worth it to run or not. Stuff like that, right? Same for Legion, same for Harvest, any of your contents, uh, content mechanics that you want to cross-reference and check if they are worth it to spend or not, right? So, yep, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, the calculator is free for all of you to use. So, yep, enjoy. Okay, that comes to the end of this video. So, um, if you have any questions, do join the Discord and I will try to answer your questions. And if you like my video, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.